Comes into the gate. They're set to go now. First, first of the day here in Epo. Stand by. Gates open, they're racing. Crown Delight was very slow off the mark. He's missed it by two or three. Bounce back ability began well. And also driving up is Apollo Rock and back on the inside, King Warrior. So bounce back ability is racing three off with Apollo Rock, the Santa, the rail King Warrior. Then Napoleon Crown Delight and out wider on the track is the jeweler. They were followed behind those, Raise Me Up, and then JJ Star, Limbs Keyway, Glory Age, and first past the post is back second last and crown to light the tail end of Apollo Rock takes it up now and he leads the way with on the outside bounce back ability and King Warrior through the inside they were followed by the jeweler Napoleon is close up in fifth spot racing three deep at this stage and then came uh, behind those as they come up towards the home turn and also behind those there is uh, back to midfield now we had JJ Star still racing wide around raise me up at this stage they were followed behind those limbs keyway from glory age and then came first past the post and crown delight still last of all approaching the home turner and this one is the one to run over at this stage golden empire is back midfield and as they swing apollo rock led the way from bounce back ability napoleon pulls to the outside golden empire behind those and then came king warrior from raise me up leader travels okay wants to veer to the outside however he wants to lay out at 300 left to go and apollo rock he's out by four lengths now two in second placing is golden empire giving chase with bounce back ability the jeweler then napoleon and also raise me up he's having a little stare and a look around there apollo rock but he's got a winning break getting close to home and he's going to draw away for a very easy win apollo rock scores by five and a half lengths at the end over golden empire who runs second at big odds and third is close between napoleon bounce back ability and raise me up was now on the inside of those from limbs keyway crown delight uh, then first past the post glory age and jj star the jeweler has dropped away at the finish and king warrior was last across the line apollo rock for El de souza and richard lyons takes out the first of the day and uh, will pay around 30 for the win and uh, eight the place of course was placed on its home track when resuming back on the 12th of december didn't have much luck in penang last start but was able to bounce to the lead soon after barrier rise today and virtually leads all the way uh, golden empire was staying on okay at the finish will run second napoleon will run third just ahead of bounce back ability so 30 for the win and eight the place there the return for apollo rock and that's his first win here in the country he's now won two from 17 or two from 18 overall and uh, the six-year-old getting the job done there after the first of the day he wanted to lay out a fraction in the home straight. He was uh, that far in front. He was having a good look around. He wanted to veer out a little bit away from the inside. He was veering back in again. But El D'Souza guides Apollo Rock to a victory here in the opening race on the program. The numbers haven't quite come through. They should be 2.12. And I think the eight will wind up in third spot. So just awaiting confirmation of those placings after the first of the day as Apollo Rock returns to scale in race one. Moves into the gate, they're set to go now. First, first of the day here in Epo, stand by. Gates open, they're racing. Crown Delight was very slow off the mark. He's missed it by two or three. Bounce back ability began well. And also driving up is Apollo Rock and back on the inside King Warrior. So bounce back ability is racing three off with Apollo Rock the Santa, the rail King Warrior. Then Napoleon Crown Delight and out wider on the track is the jeweler. They were followed behind those, raise me up, and then JJ Star, Limbs Keyway, Glory Age, and first past the post is back second last. And Crown Delight the tail end of Apollo Rock takes it up now. And he leads the way with on the outside bounce back ability and King Warrior through the inside. They were followed by the jeweler. Napoleon is close up in fifth spot, racing three deep at this stage, and then came uh, behind those as they come up towards the home turn. And also behind those there is uh, back to midfield now. We had JJ Star still racing wide around, raise me up at this stage. They were followed behind those limbs keyway from Glory Age, and then came first past the post. And Crown Delight still last of all, approaching the home turner. And this one is the one to run over at this stage. Golden Empire is back midfield. And as they swing, Apollo Rock led the way from bounce back ability. Napoleon pulls to the outside. Golden Empire behind those. And then came King Warrior from Raise Me Up. 
Leader travels okay, wants to veer to the outside, however, he wants to lay out at 300 left to go into Apollo Rock, he's out by four lengths now, two in second placing is Golden Empire giving chase with bounce back ability, the jeweller, then Napoleon and also raise me up, he's having a little stare and a look around there, Apollo Rock, but he's got a winning break getting close to home and he's going to draw away for a very easy win. Apollo Rock scores by five and a half lengths at the end over Golden Empire, who runs second at big odds and third is close between Napoleon, bounce back ability and raise me up was now on the inside of those from Limbs Keyway, Crown Delight, uh, then first past the post, Glory Age and JJ Star, the jeweller, has dropped away at the finish and King Warrior was last across the line. So still waiting upon the placings here after the first of the day. They haven't come through as yet. The winner there was number three, Apollo Rock, the six-year-old New Zealand bred. The Bay Gilding by Rock and Pop out of Apollo Treasure. Trained by Richard Lyons and ridden by El D'Souza. Second goes the way of number 12, and that is Golden Empire. Uh, Reuben for Yvette Van Brooklyn. Third is the eight, that is Napoleon. J. Daniel for KF Wong. Fourth is number six, Bounce Back Ability, ridden by Jackson Lowe. It is two, twelve, eight and six, your numbers after the first of the day. The times and margins won't be far off. 18 starts, two wins and uh, one placing for the first winner today. That is Apollo Rock with Elder D'Souza aboard the gelding for the first time this afternoon. And uh, first win since March of 2020 when he was successful there in Singapore over 1,800 metres. 2, 12, 8 and 6, your numbers after the first of the day. Okay, the margins are coming through now. It was four and three quarters by two and a quarter with a further half length to fourth and the race time was 140.7. 140.7, of course, we are working on the soft track today. Two, 12, eight and six are the official placings. As we look ahead to race number two on the program where the scratchings are numbers three, Introit, 14, Sunny, and also number 15, Immortality. 3, 14 and 15 come out. And we've got a field of 12. Time to go at 1.15. Uh, that race is also over the mile. And to take note that number 13, Limbs Leader, will be wearing a shadow roll in the second on the program. So add the shadow roll to the gear of number 13, Limbs Leader. And there is the all clear. All clear coming through after race one. Number two, Apollo Rock, the winner, pays 30 for the win and eight the place. Golden Empire, five. Napoleon, 19. Quinella pays 102. The QPs, 2 and 12, paid 61, 2 and 8, 29, 8 and 12, 183, the trio, 752, and the trifecta, 1,981, and there were no winners on the forecast for.